Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Dano Taj, and you are joining in in episode 12? Episode 12. Wow. Episode 12 of the Challenger series here on, with Escape from Tarkov. It is, um, it's been a, it's been a little bit since I've recorded an episode. So things are a little, gonna be a little rusty maybe. In fact, I don't even think I have, hello. We all spawned the together. Let's go. I was gonna say it's been it's been a little bit since I've recorded, so uh, I might be a little rusty on some stuff. But at the same time, scav army. Let's go. Um, we're going to old reliable. This is raid twenty six, I believe. I've got a labs card. I would normally be excited for a labs card. Unfortunately, they're not, you can't, you're selling them to therapists for like 60k, so like, I guess it's something. It's something for sure, but it kind of sucks that you can't do anything else with it. So we're just going to run uh, this way. I think actually at this point we should go straight up to the, to the, uh, I was going to say the dome, like we're on reserve, but we're going to go up to the mountain. Mountain stage. Um, let's check these real quick. Actually, we shouldn't go up there. We should go up to tech first. And then mountain. Because I think we have the best spawns for both of them. Because um, <clears throat> essentially, we're going to have to go to outskirts? Or scav house? They both are kind of far, actually. It's going to be tough. Um, this is going to be a long run. Yeah, this is... this is. It, we're not even 20 minutes. Um, it's going to be fine. It's going to be A-OK. -okay. I'm not too worried about it. Um, as long as we're careful, uh, we should be A-OK. -okay. I have a Mosin, scoped Mosin, which is actually, based on the fights we'll probably get into, not great. Somebody's here, I think. Let's see if we can find a weapon in here. SP7, it's 9 mil. Um, I don't think we care about this too much. I can set that on there, but that's that's not bad. Alright, let's go. I'm not going to spend too much time here. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Half mask. Nah. Alright, let's move. Let's move. Let's get up the mountain. Stop wasting time. No nuts here. I'm hoping that... I'm hoping that it's been rather quiet, but I know a lot of people are hunting Sturman right now. I think some people are trying to do the 25 times quest. I don't remember even what that gives you. I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've actually ever completed that quest, believe it or not. Um, not... To, first of all, he's kind of tough to find he doesn't like so i've been i've been hunting him for helping other people get the kill quest done and then my own <clears throat> and it has been kind of it's like less than 50 percent um on top of the fact that it's uh less than a 50 percent chance to spawn anyway i think i want to say it's like a 30 percent chance on him on sturman but in, anyway um, it's been pretty, it's been pretty rough. We do, like, every, every three or four spawns, or every three or four times we get in, we gotta go find him and see if he's there. Um, because, and I'll tell you that, because half the time we get spawned, like, right around here, and then we get sucked up by, like, three different PMCs. We gotta fight them for a while. Um, there have been times where we've gotten in those fights and he's been alive. We just hear him popping off. Thankfully, there's one of the times that happened. Oh, come on. I want it. I want it. Thank you. One of the times that happened, we were able to win those fights and then go get them. But uh, we've gotten into so many PMC fights. It's been actually kind of nuts. Um, let me see. Let me PBM this. Can we get up here? How, um... Oh my god. 
How aerobic is my scav now? Do we have the stamina for any of this? It doesn't seem like it. In fact, that was garbage. Come on. You're actually kidding me. There we go. Uh, old reliable's, old, old reliable's getting a little annoying, isn't it? Gold chains, these aren't terrible. These are what, like, 16 to 20k now? Like, they're at, they add up. They definitely add up. They'll give us something. Or PBM ammo. And stack them. What is that? Oh, scabs up. Okay. It's a good sign. Hopefully that means we can go to the village. Yeah. I know there are some decent spawns. Well, I mean, there's a bunch of food spawns and maybe some medical spawns over in the uh, Ford operating base, the FOB. The un unfortunate part about that is that's very out of the way. Um, and it's out in the open, as we've seen in several episodes so far, where we've gotten killed coming out of it. Because for some reason, people are just waiting for that. I don't, I don't know. I don't really know how to explain that. Um, I don't think I, I mean, I can't say ever, but I don't. Are you okay, bud? You alright? He's mad. Why is he mad? That doesn't sound good. He's mad but he's not shooting. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Alright, we're gonna head over to the village. Um, the problem is we're gonna have to move fast. Because we don't have a whole lot of time and a long ways to go. Normally, I'd be okay, because I'd have something over by, like, the uh, scav bunker or the bridge. I don't have bridge, right? I don't. Um, yeah. We're going to have to go pretty far. Thankfully, the scav house shouldn't be too terrible. And since we're running into it, we'll have a little bit of cover. Outside of that, I don't, I don't know, man. This might be a rough spawn. But it does mean somebody was in here late. Which is also just kind of weird. However, however, it does mean... Well, it, I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't make any speculation. Us seeing those scavs all spawn with us. Like, we had three scavs spawn with us. Hopefully means that this is a light on player scav raid. Hopefully we're the only player scavs here. Because if we're the only player scavs here, that means... People aren't running around sucking up this loot. And hopefully it's a low PMC raid on top of that. Get both of those, we could run this whole loot route and be okay. I don't know, it's been it's been uh it's been weird. It's honestly been kinda tough lately. Because I like I said, I haven't been I haven't been recording much. I've recorded like a batch and a big chunk and then I kind of uh haven't really been playing too much. Comparatively, I still play a couple times a week at least. Um, but it's been it's been weird. So I'm gonna have to get the grease back in the in the cogs. We're near like the you know nearing the dead point of the wipe, which happens. You know, as much as people love this game, including myself, sometimes it's time. Oh crap! That's really good. Sometimes it's time to just. I don't know. I'm leaving. Did I hear somebody? Ooh. That was scary. Uh, 930. It's not a ton of time.
Whew. Heart's racing a little bit. That's a Bitcoin. It's decent. Decent stuff there, buddy. Do I do I forego any loot at Scav? No. No, we shouldn't. Um We maybe forego uh, I don't know, man. It's eight We're not gonna have a ton of time, no matter what. I think we go straight into the bunker, we come right back out. And then we gotta run. We gotta run far. God, this spawn sucked. The spawn combo with, uh, comboed with the extracts is garbage. Is that a PMC? And a scab? I'm so confused. Either somebody scabbed back in and got their stuff after they died, or that was a scab and a PMC going to a... going to an extract... That is not a scav PMC extract. It's not it's not a PMC extract at all, actually. I'm very confused and I'm getting out of here, because that makes me very nervous. It me it doesn't make me nervous in the sense that they're cheaters. I don't think those are guys are cheaters. <clears throat> but in the sense that like they're doing weird stuff at seven minutes left in the raid. I am just gonna leave. It, honestly, if I didn't have the Bitcoin and a couple of other things, I might even stay and just try to, like, observe them for a minute. But, dude, it's so difficult to get... I, like, I, I'm playing these almost opposite, right? And, and let me explain that. So, um, normally, before this challenge, um, I'd be playing my PMC and my Scav completely different. I almost would never play how I play this this challenge series, meaning I don't really go for too many fights in the challenge. I mean, I've gone for, like, honestly, less than you can count in one hand on fights in this challenger series. Normally, especially my PMC, <clears throat> I'd go for mostly everything, you know? If there's a fight to be had, I'm going for it. I, I'll even charge some boys so, so that I know they're not going to come up behind me at any point, right? Sometimes I'll let certain fights go, but it really depends on what I'm wearing, too. Plus, like... Gear, I've I've lost the gear for your man. I've done I've done what a lot of Tarkov players, especially new ones, have been stumped by for a very long time, which is getting past that gear fear. It is by far the nicest thing that you can have. It's the nicest feeling you can have in this game is getting past the fact that you're like, I don't care if I lose stuff, you know? It happens, it happens. And it truly comes with, there, there's one part of it that comes with like, you know, getting better at the game, getting your survival rate higher and stuff like that, because in the end, as long as you're kind of above 50%, you're kind of winning, you know? It takes two good raids to make up for one loss, really. And sometimes it only takes one. So that 50-50 usually pans out to be okay. Even if you're doing quests where you're pretty much spending money in that in that raid you're not you're losing money when you come out of it um but there's so many raids where you'll come out with you know an arm like a full loadout right you kill one guy you take his full loadout and you've come out with another free loadout later because like once you understand that none nothing in this game is yours right Nothing is really yours. This, the only thing that's yours is the way you organize your stash and the, the beauty of looking at it, right? Because after that, everything's borrowed. It's kind of like life in that way, but I know a lot of people like to think that possessions in life are real. They're not. They're all borrowed anyway. We just borrow it from the planet and we give it back later. <clears throat> in this game, it's very much like that in a very 
uh, up sped, sped up, uh, time scale. Uh, you're gonna lose it. Not, you might lose it. Hello. You might lose it in a wipe. You might lose it in a few weeks of within a wipe. And you're, but no matter what, the point is, you're gonna lose all the stuff you have, right? So as long as you don't attach yourself to things, you, one, I think you'll have one, uh, just a better time in the game, right? Whether or not you're very good or you win a lot, whatever you, you're gonna have a much better time in the game because it's not gonna hurt as much when you lose, and it's probably gonna mean a little bit more when you win. And not to mention, I think the biggest point is that you're going to be taking in good gear that you're not afraid of losing. And the ironic part about it all is you taking in good gear means that you're more than likely going to win. Right? It doesn't mean you can't get one shot in the face. It doesn't mean you can't get head eyes or head, head jaws or whatever. It just means that you you have a better chance, right? And that's always a good thing. So, uh, I think taking more money in often leads to a better circumstance. Even though some people will le le lead you to believe that taking in very little means that you have more room for profit. It's like, yeah, but, you know, whatever happens, happens. Anyway, uh, in, in fact, let me know what you think about that in the comments. I'd, I'd be really curious as to who's, who's part of the low-kit, high-value, or, sorry, low-kit, high-reward um, runs or the high kit more secure rewards you know what i mean let me know i'm curious i'm genuinely curious I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a pretty even split down the middle anyway um that was a decent raid i'm gonna count this all up and we'll be right back bing 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 bong bing a bong here we are all right now i know i know you can see the the, the information in the top left woods again do you see our kit? Caffeine up. If this isn't the ultimate rolling through the woods hunting kit, then I don't know what is. Like, look at this. Look at this amaze. Amaze. Um, terrible spawn. 20 minutes, though. Uh, what? The heck? No, I'm in the right spot. Okay, um... We've got, you know, a not, lots of decent bullets. We got a decent amount of bullets. What am I... At TKM FMJ? That's not... It's not very good. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's not bad. It's not very good. Um... I would have asked for some, maybe some Geska, Gexa, Gexa, not Geska. Some Gexa would have been probably the way to go here. Um, TKM is right in the middle of like, it's right in the middle of both goods, right? In, in, it's neither good nor, nor, nor is it good, is my point. Because, so, at least it's a cheap round, but... Ge uh, Geska does so much more flesh damage than these TK these TKM FMJs. Um, you know, obviously you want APMs because of the armor pen, but if I can lag somebody to death, or if I can, honestly, based on the damage, if I, like, especially recently, if I could just hit somebody in armor, like, three or four times, dump a mag into them, yeah, and, like, dump a mag with this hunting rifle, um, but dump dump a mag into um into somebody even with decent armor it would still kill them because those are thick ass rounds and uh the damage should make up for uh of not being able to pen cuz really that's what they've done with this game in 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 a in a big way it makes sense so a lot of i've heard a lot of complaints a lot of complaints and i i think let me i'm just going to try to get into Nikita's head real quick so Nikita hears all this, you know, probably criticism, so you'd probably call it a criticism, about, oh man, you guys, you say your game's realistic, but what about this, and what about this, and what about this, and, and that's probably all he hears. And in reality, 
Oh, this is not good. I'm pretty sure somebody's right over here. This means... I mean, somebody's probably gone there. Um, I'm going to not chance it. All right. So, <clears throat> I think I just heard the person. Maybe? Um, anyway. I don't know. I might get shot in the back of the head here. Uh, anyway. He's probably hearing all these criticisms about how... they t About how BSG talks about how they want their games to be realistic and... Go after all these cool things that most games just can't, like, accomplish, right? Because... Most games... Most first-person shooters will give you elements that that are very obviously simulating realism, right? And we know that because we know they're video games. We know that they're they're only a simulation. And this game in in my opinion takes a different step. I'm not going to say another step, but and it kind of does that too, but a different step, like a like a step in a different different quite different direction more towards realism because we're it's going more for realism rather than realism simulation that's an ak so it sort of makes sense in a lot of the decisions that he makes when you think about it that way uh, that's not bad all right so when we think about what that means we think about the fact that Elite player's not bad. I'll take the long and flat. That's fine. Um, we think about the fact that, hey, what would happen in these situations, right? So... Oh, D feels not bad. I need to look in these more. Um, so I'm trying to remember what the original point was. I got distracted by me thinking there was a guy up there. And I think there was. Um, but... Ooh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, all right, all right. It's actually a really decent um, little spot there. Vodka? Iskra? Sourry? Crackers? This is full up. Yep. Not bad, actually. What do we have in here? Less than half PS ammo? All right. Um... Okay, so the point I was making, which was what? What was I, was I getting to? This is my memory and why I get... I get, I get hyper-focused into things. And then, I, then my brain makes uh, priority lists. And sometimes a hyper-focus gets overridden by something um, that says it's a higher priority. And I explain it this way because even though it kind of seems like attention deficit disorder in a lot of ways, I... Describe it that way because I don't think it is. I think it's different. I'm not trying to say I'm special or anything. It's just it's different. It is different because I I don't get distracted by things that are meant to distract you, but by things that have higher priorities. And then I if forget what I was talking about before, which is you know kind of that, but different. Like I said, and. Um, so I get, I, there's, there's certain points where I'm like, uh, what was I talking about? And then it takes me a while to get back to it, but I'll get back to it eventually. I was talking about realism and, uh, I was talking about, oh, oh, I remember, um, certain rounds doing damage versus high or low penetration armor, essentially. So armor that will not allow a whole lot of penetration. So when we think about that, we think about what a bullet is and how fast a bullet goes and how much damage it actually does to an, to an item of any sort. There are almost no bullets that sit there and they just kind of do nothing, right? You look at most like 9mm rounds and how, see how it, you know, explodes basically um, against a piece of pretty thick iron but, but like metal, right? It does something. And then, 
Uh, let me see if I can get this done. And then you think about the fact that it still has some force being put behind it. It's a small round. It's obviously just going to explode. But then you think about what's an armor. It's kind of that, but not nearly as thick, right? And then you think about the fact that somebody is behind that piece of armor directly touching it. And it's going to hurt a lot. It doesn't matter what it doesn't matter what armor you're wearing. It doesn't matter where you're getting shot by. Getting shot hurts. I don't know that from first hand experience, but every time I've talked to somebody who has been shot, either through armor or what have you, it hurts, no matter what. So if I take like an MP9 and load it with even the say say the lowest penetrating arm or ammo that there is, even though most most nine millimeters not gonna do anything, right? And I unload a, you know, let's say a 20 round mag directly to your chest. Or maybe I hit half of them, 15 rounds hit your chest. You're either going to be dead from internal bleeding, or you're going to be passed out because of how much that just hurt. Basically like just getting hit with 15 sledgehammers in a super quick succession right to your chest. So, it either is going to squish your heart, and your heart's going to be like, what the hell just happened, and either stop, or you're going to burst something. Let's say, let's say it doesn't, let's say it doesn't burst like a vital organ, right? Let's say it just burst a bunch of capillaries in your chest, which there are many. That's going to cause a lot of bleeding and bruising. It's not going to cause, like, probably a hemorrhage to where you can bleed out internally. But it's prob- and you know, it might, it could still do that, it's very much still an option. But let's say it doesn't. And let's say that, uh... Let's say it just bursts a bunch of capillaries, and you're sitting there with all this bruising. It don't matter what you do, what you say, who you are. Being combat effective at that point is nearly impossible. So, when you think about the fact that you're not gonna be in a... Tarkov situation, still alive, yet combat ineffective. That doesn't make any sense. I think I just hear, I think I just hear stuff going off the water there. Um, not gonna be combat ineffective just sitting there, right? You're going, it's, the game's gonna have to decide, um, yeah, you're probably gonna be technically dead, so let's just take you out of the raid. Scav, house, it skirts, dead man's stat, dead man's place, mountain stash. I did have Mountain Stash. Probably gonna have to go to... Come on. Please? Um... So... <clears throat> if you want to talk about realism... Even if you don't penetrate that armor... It's still gonna hurt... A lot. So... Complaining about that doesn't make any sense to me. You either don't like the realism. Or you do and you're like, well, that's just part of what we have to take. And, and, and you know, you can talk about this all you want, but... And you can talk about the fact that, that, oh, this game's been playable for, you know, like four years now. There's no way they can call it a beta. It's like, but that's exactly what it kind of is. It's kind of even an alpha in a lot of ways. There's a lot of features that just haven't been implemented yet. And I think that's what makes this game so beautiful, right? You know, put aside all the politics and stuff that, that's going on right now uh, with with how many things are going on. I think, th I think the people over at BSG are decent game developers, and that's really all we need to care about. For the most part. <laughs> For the most part. Obviously, if somebody's being a, you know, a jerk face, you probably don't want to support them financially, but... For the most part, they're probably not going to be changing the world in any way, in a negative fashion, I would say. Um, take that. Mayo? Alright, I'll take mayo. Obush kabare. Kabare yum. Alright, seven and a half minutes. We may have to forego... Yusek. 
I should run through it though. I I can. It's on the way. Narmas, Narmas. Um, more vodka. There's no way vodka's any worth it. Let me go downstairs and possibly throw something away. So, and to be clear, I'm not trying to defend a lot of the, you know, pretty annoying antics that are basically just meant to simply annoy you. Because that's sometimes it feels like exactly what that is. And it is, it does suck, man. It does suck to sit there. Oh my god. Okay. Um. It sucks to sit there and be like, I have to do these stupid quests because that's what the game's asking me to do, and they're super annoying. Next full set. Um, anything I... Actually, this is probably what I don't want. Um. <clears throat> Take that. I already took one of those. Slickers, I don't think is any good, but people might be buying them. I'm not sure. I'm actually kind of heavy, aren't I? Yep. You know, <clears throat> I'm one to talk. I'm definitely somebody who talks about the fact that some people who make things are crappy and we shouldn't support them at the same time. But <clears throat> I've also gotten older. Since I first started talking about that, and when you come to realize that people, for the most part, do, they do shitty things. Let's just be honest. They do shitty things. And basically, only worrying about the people that get caught, just, it just, it probably means something's going wrong. In your, in your life, or in, in your observation, what have you. And I think, while that is cynical, and that's something that's... Let me finish, right? Um, it is important to realize... That even though... You don't know if somebody's being a terrible human being... And you shouldn't damn everybody, because you shouldn't... There are certain things you kind of have to prioritize... And that kind of comes down to what it is that your morals are, right? Certain people care about the environment. And as long as, you know, you're dealing with people who aren't necessarily ruining the environment, they might be a they might do some questionable things, but <clears throat> you also have to weigh out what that how that affects you and how it affects them in what they do, right? I'm not going to get on a soapbox too much cuz I do this on stream and I know it annoys people. But essentially, it comes down to, if you're not going to buy Tarkov, because, you know, well, first of all, if you're not going to buy Tarkov because they are Russian, that's just stupid. Um, the Russian people are great. They're leaders, not so much. Um, I mean, same with us Americans. I think there's a lot of great American people. There's just a lot of terrible leaders, and a lot of terrible Americans, too. It goes everywhere. It goes both ways. Um... But the point is that if you're if if it's something that really isn't that huge of a deal, you don't obviously you don't need to pour money at them. But if you if it's you're gonna buy a game that is going to give you some some satisfaction and some enjoyment, just do it. Don't don't deprive yourself of that. I think that's stupid. If it's somebody doing some pretty heinous things, you know. Like, if they're stealing money from people, which a lot of game companies can be accused of doing, very, very much so. If they're doing things that, that, you know, if you're not an, a fan of NFT, NFTs and they're just printing NFTs, like some companies are doing, and you don't want to support them that way, that's fine too. The point I'm trying to make is, like, obviously stick to your values, but realize that at a certain level, because it's like a meter, right? At a certain level, are you hurting yourself or depraving yourself more than you're hurting them? And if the answer is yes, then, well, you need to think about that. But, 
if it's like another AAA game that's full of bugs and pretty terribly put together and they're asking for 60 bucks, that's absolutely something that I would say pushes that meter or at least the threshold a lot farther to the right, meaning that it takes... It's not depraving you of too much by just simply being like, I don't want to deal with them. I don't want to play their game, even if that game looks really good and fun. Because there's a lot going on that they shouldn't be doing, right? Because we, we have to think about the fact that we're talking about entertainment here, right? The amount of damage that entertainment companies can do is really not all that much. But, they do have potential to do something. So, you know, just take every situation intricately and think about it for a second. I just I, I just see a lot of people jumping on things really quickly. And, I mean, to be fair, in a lot of ways it is fair because um, there's a lot of people who just don't have the time to look into things, and I totally understand that. But that's why, you know, hopefully you can watch 10 to 15 streamers and at you know for 10 to 15 minutes at a time over a course of, like, a couple weeks on a game and be like, oh, this makes sense. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. There we go. And then put your own thoughts together. I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm not saying anything that people aren't saying as well. I'm also concentrating on not dying in this game while trying to make a point. And maybe that's the point, point I shouldn't be making. But uh, the point, the bigger point is, you know, take care of yourself as well. And I think a lot of people don't do that as much as they should. So have fun with it. Anyway, my point is, uh, we did it. I think this is decent. I don't know how good this one's going to be. The last one is really good, though. So hopefully we can make up for everything we may have lost. And uh, I'm going to count this up. It's going to be right over there. And thank you so much for watching. It's been my pleasure to make a video for you. I know we have these conversations. It's like a little podcast in a lot of ways. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that uh, we were able to give you a, uh, a little bit of, like, what? 40 minutes, 45 minutes or a day, six days, five days a week, I should say, um, of a little bit of something to listen to and maybe hope that maybe you're giving us the luck that we need to get some of the loot that we're grabbing here. I think that's very important. I think there's a lot of people that um, really like watching their, their favorite content creators get some of that good luck that comes in because it feels like they get the good luck too because quite honestly, if you're watching this, you're part of what we're doing. As much as this is my account and this is my game, I'm doing this because for all of us, not just me. So it is part of all of it. So if we can get some RNG plus, can I get some plus RNG in the comments? Uh, I would uh, I'd be truly appreciated. Appreciative. So thank you all so much for watching. My name is Danotage, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.